Good morning, everyone. This is Mark, your friendly Android fanatic, and what I'm going to do is something that has been requested multiple times, and that is to install a ROM, basically, uh, website, but to install and it. you download it from, uh, say, GalaxyNote2Root.com, and then you install it. So what we're going to do is we already have the Team Nocturnal Lab Rats ROM installed on this Galaxy Note 2 for Sprint, and the process is the same for any Galaxy Note 2 or Galaxy S3 or pretty much any phone that's been rooted. And then you would just go to your respective site, such as GalaxyNote2Root.com. And we're just going to use our uh, S voice. Search the internet for GalaxyNote2Root.com. Going to Note2Root.com. No matching applications found. Open internet. You stupid Opening S internet. voice. about your customer's mobile experience? Nope. If not, you're leaving sales on the table. Smartphones and tablets have created a new kind of customer, one who searches right before taking action. Galaxy Note 2 root.com Go to Sprint Galaxy Note 2 dot com com dot com com dot 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 com com and then we're gonna go down here to whichever ROM you would prefer. We'll pick Matt's ROM, plain Jane, Dippity Dang Dang, Wang Wang. And if you want to watch an introductory introductional video, then you can click on here and then it's gonna take you to the download page. For some reason, it doesn't take you to the video on YouTube, it takes you to the download page. That's kind of funky. So then you put in your little code here, and then hit enter, or go, and then from there it'll download up here in your status bar, and then from there you wait for it to download, and after that you watch it. It's not very complicated. The same thing goes for downloading the video. Do, 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 do. Download Max Ron Plain Jane. Pick it. Shut the alarm off. You turned the alarm off. No kidding, you think? That's circle alarm. I like that alarm. It's real nice. Works real good. And it's easy to set because you need little circles to swipe up and down. Download ready. Type in your doohickey, like boomerang. Download. Hit. Uh, of course. And then, after it's done downloading, it'll be up here, but you don't install it from there, such as with the uh, root toolbox. But you go to your root toolbox. You can install it from here. Go to ROM management, swipe over here, install Q, and then if you're installing a ROM and doing a factory data reset, wiping the cache and data, and wiping the Dalvik cache, and backing up your current ROM, do it from here. But if you are installing some, installing, <coughs> say, Max ROM over top of another ROM, like Wampasaurus or Team Nocturnal Lab Rats ROM, which is my favorite by far, then what you're going to do is you're going to hit restart. This is only if you have the Sprint version. This doesn't work for other versions. Go to Recovery, hit OK, and then re reboot into Recovery mode. This <coughs> also will only work with T9 
team went in recovery project for because uh, Clockwork Mod recovered, you cannot install ROMs or backup ROMs to or from your SD, your external SD card. So that's why I use Team Win Recovery Mode. I actually bricked one of my phones my first time trying to root, or uh, not root, but that was already rooted. And then I tried ROM for my external SD card, it got stuck in boot, the boot loop. And I pretty much stayed up all night long trying to figure it out. Ended up taking my Galaxy Note 2, throwing it across the room with no case on it, and it actually stuck in the drywall. Not not here, but that that's like too solid. It would have broke there, but and uh, <clears throat> threw it in the drywall. Fortunately, between the studs, and then yeah, it didn't break. It was pretty awesome. So what we're going to do here, first, before anything else, wipe the Dalvik cache, wipe the cache, go back, go back again, go to install. If you have your download set in your web browser to download to the external SD card, of course, again, go to the external SD card. Then we're going to go to Max ROM All Star 3.2. Add more zips. Max ROM All Star 3.3. <coughs> and one more. Perseus Kernel Alpha 35. Then we're going to hit install. If you get this and you don't get the failed red lettered caca. Then you're on and crack it. You should see flashing file one of three. And then it'll flash all three files most of the time. And then you get zippity dippity doo da. Twinkle my little flippy nose here. And when I'm done, you'll get a magically delicious Max ROM All Star 3.3 with Perseus kernel. Over flat, overclocking, and so on, uh, that runs really smooth on your Galaxy Note 2 for Sprint. Sprint only. This does not work for other Galaxy Note 2 variants. It only works for the Sprint model. So, we'll be back in just a minute. Go ahead, take a smoke break, have a coffee, pick your nose. Now we have Max Rom. I really like the boot animation. Comes up with a little apple with a bite out of it for you know who. And after that, <clears throat> a little apple gets squished, and it says, powered by Mac and Tosh. Maybe it's a guy named Mac with a girlfriend or wife named Tosh. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's promoting Mac and Tosh computers. Probably not, since they smashed the little apple. Wipe off our screen, or our lens, see if that helps a little with the clarity. So uh, we are optimizing our apps. I really wish that was more clear, but it's not. It's only at 139, 40, 43, 49, 47, 48, 46, 49 out of 309. And what I did <clears throat> while you were away was I had, uh, just for safety's sake, I don't know if it's necessary, it's probably not, but I went ahead and wiped out the Dalvik cache and cache again because it gives you that option after you install. Just in case, because sometimes you get some really stupid crap that happens, especially if you're installing a ROM over top of another ROM. If you do not wipe the Dalvik cache. So and we're just waiting for it to finish uh, optimizing our applications. And once it's booted up, I've got to say the, the performance, the battery life, 
even with the overclocking the same and the everyday use as a daily driver with Max from the all-star version installed over top of the Team Nocturnal Lab Rats ROM 2.2.0 is better than Lab Rats ROM overclocked with Perseus Kernel 35. So, take that and yeah, the only downside to Max ROM is that you cannot do as many of the customizations as you can do with Lab Rats ROM. So, here we are. Our ROM has been installed. We don't want to see that caca again. Exactly the Everything same. Else. <clears throat> All your previous settings, configurations, and so on with the uh, Team Nocturnal Lab Rats ROM. And you're going to have to look away for a second here while I sign in. So we're signing into the Samsung account. Now this is the one, one of the uh, upsides of having MaxROM is for some reason these Samsung applications and so on. are not functionable on lab rats from yeah 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 mark shot in or oh, kiss my grits Thanks. And yeah, you get your Samsung account stuff. So if you want to use uh, uh, Samsung Media Hub, if you want to use Samsung Music, um, Music Hub, if you want to do a lot of the little stuff that you do with Samsung bloatware that you can't do on the Lab Rats ROM, you can install the stuff. I guess I just never took the time to, uh, you know, make sure everything related to the Samsung account was installed. So, yeah, there you go. We have Max ROM installed on top of Lab Rats ROM. No brainer, it's a TouchWiz based ROM. <laughs> And it works seamlessly. It's uh, spectacular. Love it. I love it. Very smooth. So there you go. All of the theming that was previously there is no longer there. I usually recommend that you go into your developer options and select three or four processes running in the background at most. And this is a pretty nice wallpaper. It's the uh, Aquarium HD live wallpaper or something like that. So yeah, I hope this was helpful in helping you to know how to install a custom ROM from is something other than the video that I previously I can't talk the ROM that I or the video that I previously did on how to install a ROM from the ROM toolbox. That's a simpler way to do it, I guess. But uh, yeah, this way is simple too, easy enough.
All it takes is a little bit of brains and common sense. So there you go. Have a great day. This is Mark, your friendly Android fanatic, signing off.